greatness, you're going to receive greatness. You give out, you give out negativity, you're going to get back negativity. If you, if you're positive, you will get back positive results. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And God says, if you're part of me and you're part of the kingdom of God, you will produce positive results. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, we're going to go to uh, Matthew 7 and 7. Amen. Matthew 7 and 7. I am not going to be before you long, but I will deliver what God gave me tonight. Amen. 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 How many know that we have to be obedient? Amen. I heard that earlier this morning from Mother. Amen. Amen. Being obedient. Amen. Being obedient in God and going forth and doing what God has called us to do. Amen. Amen. Being obedient. Amen. Matthew 7 and 7. Amen. Asking and receiving. Hallelujah. How many needs to receive a heavenly withdrawal tonight? Come on, somebody. Is somebody in need for a heavenly withdrawal tonight? I'm not talking about money, amen. I'm talking about a heavenly withdrawal that God can only give you tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the heavenly name. Hallelujah. Matthew 7 and 7. And the verse reads, ask. Say ask. ask. And it shall be what? Give. Given to you. Seek and shall what? Find and what? Knock and it shall be what? Open unto who? Unto you. Let's read it again. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open to you. Verse 8. For everyone that asketh what? Receiveth. And he that what? Seeketh findeth. And him that knocketh it shall what? Be open. Let's stop right there. Him that seeketh and knocketh, it shall be open. Amen. Amen. Verse 9. Or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a what? Stone. How many, of us, how many of us know tonight that a lot of people are giving out stones to their brother? Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Verse 10. Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Verse 11, if what? Ye then being evil, now how to what? Know how to, know how to give good gifts unto your what? Children, how much more shall your Father which is in what? Heaven give good things to what? Them that ask. How many of us are asking the Lord tonight for whatever we need? Come on, somebody. I need somebody's hand tonight in this place. Come on. God says, knock. And you shall receive. Amen. He says knock and you shall receive. He says seek me and you will find me. You will find me in, in your time of trouble. Amen. You will, you will find me when you need me the most. Amen. The, the word of God and the Lord says do not seek after man. Because they will always what? Fail you. All the time. And now why does man always fail the kingdom of God's people? Come on, somebody. Because God's wanting us to ask it from him. He's wanting us to ask for what we need from him. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go with me to, hallelujah. Amen. Go with me to Luke. Amen. Seven. I'm sorry, Luke six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Luke six and twenty-seven. Luke 6 and 27 tonight. Amen. Praise God. Sister Janine, can you read 27? Yes. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them that hate you. Number 28. Go ahead. Okay. Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Did you hear that? Bless them that curse you. How many of us have many people have cursed us? But the Lord turned around and said, and pray for them which, what? Despite leafly use you. Come on, somebody. There is a lot of people in this world right now that are using other people to get to where they want to be, but they're doing it the wrong way. Amen? They're not calling on the name of the Lord. Amen? The Lord says, call upon my name and you shall be what? Come on, somebody. I got some Bible scholars back in that back row back there. Come on, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Knock and you shall find. Amen? And the door shall be what? Open. There's been many of times where I prayed to God myself in many of the years that have passed and right now, of you know, today. And I've asked God for certain things. Amen? And I know in my spirit that God can answer it quickly or he may take his time doing answering your request. Amen? How many of us have prayed and asked God for something and it, and it did not get answered right then and there when we asked? Come on, somebody. Amen? That's because God is not in our time. You see, man has made time. God don't dwell in time. Come on, somebody. The Holy Spirit dwells in a different time, in a different realm. There is no time. Amen. Man has made time so they can keep track of you. So they can keep track of what's going on. But the Spirit of God is not in time. Come on, somebody. But what I'm trying to say is, is that when you ask God for something, God will move when he wants to move. Come on, somebody. God is going to move when he wants to move because he is God and God all by himself. He said the word was with what? God and the word was God. And the word was God because the word is God. Come on, somebody. He said, I knew you before you was formed in your mother's womb. I know how many hairs that you have on your head. Amen. You, we don't even know how many hairs we have. But God does. Amen. He said, he said, I know these things because I am God. He said, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. I know the beginning of each and every one of us in this place. The beginning of all of us and the end of us. Come on, somebody. And what the scripture is saying that knock and you will, the door will be open. Amen. Seek me and you shall find me. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Verse 30. Give to every man that asketh of thee. Amen? And of him that taketh away thy what? Good. And ask them to not again. But listen to this. And as what? Ye would not, as ye that men should do. Amen? To you, do ye also to them likewise come on as you give it out you're going to get back amen praise God you give out greatness you're going to receive greatness you give out you give out negativity you're going to get back negativity if you if you're positive you will get back positive results amen in the name of Jesus and God says if you're part of me and you're part of the kingdom of God you will produce positive results amen and I'm speaking to somebody in here tonight, no matter what nobody said, whatever, who said anything about you wrong or negative, negative about you, God is saying right now tonight positive things about your life. Amen. When they said bad things about you, God is doing the miraculous in your life. Amen. Right now tonight, he's wanting you to build a strong foundation in him. He's wanting you to know him. He's wanting you to know him tonight. He's saying, I love my people so much. I want that relationship and that one-on-one that -on -one relationship with them. Amen. He loves us that much. You see, church, sometimes we need to go into our quiet place, amen, and have quiet time with the Lord. Amen. Get on our knees and say, God, here I am. Do with me as you will. Praise God. Do with me as you will. Leaving all the things of the world behind, amen leaving all the things that the world may bring you to make you feel good behind, praise God, but letting the Lord do the miraculous in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Knock and what? The door will be open. A lot of us are not knocking on that door. We're walking past that door. We're walking past that door. And we're walking past that door and the Jesus is standing there saying, I'm right here. Only if you would knock on that door, I would open that door for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. How many knows that God is in control? And how many know that God can do the miraculous in your life? There was plenty of months, amen, that when we had, uh, when we left the other building, praise God, I'm not going to say which one, but when we left, well, the two of them, amen, 
And the Lord worked with me inside, amen. I thought I was a failure, amen. But God spoke to me and he says, no, ye of little faith, you're not a failure. Keep your head up high. Keep moving and doing what I have called you to do, no matter what has happened in your life. And I said, okay, Father, I'm going to do what you have called me to do, no matter what. I'm going to press forward and do what you have called me, my wife, my children, and the congregation what to do. Amen. Amen. And there was a period of time that it was quiet. And in that quiet time, the Lord spoke to me and he says, it was quiet because I was re-sculpting you into what you needed to be. That quiet time was a place to where you needed to be for me to talk to you. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about God talking to me. Just because I'm behind the pulpit up here don't mean God hasn't spoke to me in certain times in my distress. Amen. How many of us have been in distress? Amen. Come on. Nobody in this room is perfect. But God is always speaking to us in our distressful times. And when he was spoke to me, when the Holy Spirit spoke to me, he says, you can do it. You can do it. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the, the ones that are telling you you can't do it. Don't listen to the ones that say, oh, what happened? Listen to the Spirit of God, which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. And he says, I will guide you down that path. Praise the name of the Lord. And I remember that day that came, amen, when the Lord was had me done with that part of my season. Amen. How many knows that we're all we're living in seasons? Yeah. We're doing things in seasons, amen. And then when that was that was the season that I was in, but it, it left me, and the Lord says, Now this is the time where you can go and do what I have called you to do. You see, the Lord had to grab me and sit me down to so he could talk to me, not not doing anything bad, amen. But he had to get my attention. How many of us that the Lord had to get your attention, raise your hand in this place. And when he, he we got your attention, amen, he sat you down. And he said, this is what I want you to do. This is the, this is the, 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 uh, the promise that I have on your life. This is the, what I have wanted you to do all this time, amen. Glory to God. Told me to uh, John chapter 10, verse 1. John chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that what? Entereth not by the what? Door. Into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. The same is the thief and a robber. Did you hear that? Sister Janine, read me verse 3. Yes. And he called his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Mm. Sister Ontario, 4 and 5. John chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. Praise the name of the Lord. Mother, uh, Mother Lily, can you read verse 7? Yeah, oh, yeah. John chapter 10, verse 7. Hallelujah. How many is, how, how's the word talking to people tonight? Amen? Amen. John 10, verse 7. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Amen. He said, Jesus said, I am the door of the sheep. We are the sheep. Amen. So he's saying, I am the door, so come into that door. Amen. 
The shepherd is calling you right now tonight. Hallelujah. He says, come into that door. Come into the pasture, and I will guide you to where you need to be. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Verse, uh, let's jump over to John. We're still in 10. Let's jump over to verse 28. 28 and 29. Let me see. 28 and 29, pastor. And I give unto them eternal life. Yes. Yes, Sister Ontario, verse 30. I am my father. Are one. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I am, I and my father are one. Amen. 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 How many got excited right there after that? I did. <laughs> Just that small verse resonated in my spirit. I and my father are one are one. One. And there, He is there for you. Amen? Praise the heavenly name. So what we need to do, amen, is to seek God. And He said, you will find me. He says, knock on that door and that door will be open to you. To all of us. In our time of distress. In our time of trouble. In our time of sickness. He says, open that door. He says, come to that door and I will open that door and I will let you in. There's healing in the land, mother, tonight. There's healing in the land. There's a lot of distress going on in the land. And God says, I'm healing the land. He says, when you go and walk on the land, he says, take that land back and possess that land back for yourself. Amen. He says, that land don't belong to nobody but God. He says, when you walk that land, you possess that land back to you. Amen. God says, speak to that thing, and it shall be yours. Speak to that mountain, and it shall be removed out of your life. Speak to that thing, and it will be gone out of your life. So bills be gone in the name of Jesus. Sickness be gone in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. New car, come to me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. New walk with God. Come to me in the name of Jesus. People that are negative, move out of my way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But God, here I am. Do me as you will in this place tonight. No matter what nobody says. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. I felt a shift taking place. Amen. I felt a shift, I don't know who it was for, but a shift just took place. The foundations of the earth just moved. I'm telling you right now, I don't know who it was for, but something happened in the atmosphere of God, amen, and they, they, they moved out of the way. The circumstance that was coming at you has moved out of the way, glory to God. The sickness that was coming has moved out of the way in the name of Jesus. And I'm telling you that no devil in hell can have his way in your life anymore. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Rise again. Do what I have called you to do. In the name of Jesus. Go out and be discipled. Go out and be disciples of men. Amen. Go out and grab those people that need to come into the glory of God. Amen. He says go out in the highways and the byways and compel them to come in to the house of God. Amen. He's not saying come into the these four walls. He's not talking about these four walls. He, God don't care about this. He cares about what you do for him. He cares about your work, that you, your labor that you do for him. And he says in the word, labors are few. Right now, there's not, a, there's not that many laborers left to do this work. But he says the ones that have been called to do the labor, he said do it with an abundance of grace. Do it with the power and the Holy Ghost. And he says, move forth and do what I have called you to do. No matter what and how it looks like, just go and do it. And possess the land. Take it back. Hallelujah. No matter how much they, if they took it from you, go back and get it. In the name of Jesus. Say, it's mine because my Father in heaven gave it to me. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Follow me, and you will hear my voice. You will hear my voice. 
I don't know about you, but there's plenty of times that I have heard God's voice speak to me. How many of here have heard God's voice speak to them? Amen. Come on, somebody. We all have heard the voice of God. God is wanting your attention. He is wanting you to know Him. He's wanting you to get in the midst of Him, get into your quiet place, change your life, leave the other things of the world alone, and do what God has called you to do in these last days. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Somebody give God a praise in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If I could sing, I would sing unto the mountaintop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In this place. Hallelujah. For manifesting what you have said you would do in these last days. Glory to God. Amen. Last scripture tonight. Turn with me to John 17 and verse 1 and 2. John 17, verse 1 and 2. Sister Janine, could you read verse 1 and pastor verse 2? Yes. Oh, I'm so, yes, yes. 17, 1 and 2. A 17, 1 for you and then pastor 2. Oh. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may live with you as you did with me. Yes. As thou hast given him power yes. over all flesh, mm. that he should give eternal life. Yes. He's given us all eternal life and the power to do what he has asked us to do. Amen. Praise God. Leave the things alone of this world. They have nothing for you, has nothing to offer you. Amen. But only God has the only way.